is a beautiful day and we have a new twist on dinner tonight. We are going to make something a little Thai inspired today. We are going to make some chicken with veggies with green curry and then we are also going to make some spicy green beans to go with that and serve it all over some rice noodles. So we are going to get started. You don't need takeout. You can make it yourself. You don't need no stinking takeout. I think everyone's kind of done with takeout since that's kind of all we've had for months and months. Um, it's pretty much people are, are figuring out the DoorDash. People that didn't even know, like me, about DoorDash are figuring it out. Of course, with the help from a teenager who knows all about the, door, the DoorDash. But today we're going to make our own takeout with our um, yummy chicken curry and our spicy green beans. So I'm excited. So let's get started. I have started the um, chicken. I've just cut it up. This is about a pound and a half of chicken breast and I just cut it into little one inch cubes. And in here I have a tablespoon of turmeric and then I have a, a, ta a tablespoon or so of green curry and I just bought some. This I was going to make it with red curry but they didn't have any so COVID cooking we use what you got. Green curry um, and then a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil in here and it's only been, mar been marinating for a few mi uh, minutes but I've got the pan on here so I'm gonna um, uh, put the chicken in to let it start br uh, browning. I have a tablespoon of olive oil in my pan and in goes my chicken. Yum! Oh my gosh it smells so good. Yum! So I am going to get this started browning. Oh my gosh, looks yummy. My pan. I got it really hot. Got to cool it down a little bit. Hey Emery, how are you? Sharon, how are you? Welcome, Florence. Welcome, guys. Uh, I just put the chicken in to brown. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to start here um, making my sauce for the green beans. So the sauce for the green beans is, see my amounts here, is about a tablespoon of soy. And I'm just going to eyeball this. So about a tablespoon or so of soy sauce. And then I'm going to put um, a little couple shakes of red pepper flake in there. Find the end. There we go. A couple shakes of that in there. And then I have a heaping tablespoon or so of peanut butter. And I'm going to get that stirring in there. And then I also, it just called for a tablespoon of hoisin. I didn't have any. But thanks to the takeout, I have hoisin right here. <laughs> so I'm going to um, take my hoisin on my to-go packages and just put some in here. Since I don't make things like this very often, some of these um, Asian condiments I don't have, but you always have it when you've got them in takeout form. And that's about a, t a, t a tablespoon, or I would say. So mix up our soy, our hoisin. I kind of need to get the peanut butter off my spoon here. <laughs> but this is the sauce for the green beans, so this is going to be yummy. Let's, let's try a fork. New utensil. Oh my gosh. Yum! So let that peanut butter mixed in here. I even took it out of the fridge to try and get it to warm up a little bit. But we're getting it going there. Okay, so that's our sauce for that. Let me check on our chicken. Gosh, it smells so good because I mean curry, yum, smells delicious. And that is going to cook very quickly. I just um, want to get it browning up here. Oh my gosh. Yum! And then uh, into our chicken, so we get it rolling there, I'm going to add, I have some zucchini and some broccoli, Instagrammers. You can see what I've got here. I have fresh grated ginger that I grated on my microplane. I'll show you. Because I love, love, love my microplane. I use it all the time. And today I used it on all three things. I used it on the ginger, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, and I also used it um, for the lime zest when I zested my lime. So very handy tool. Highly recommend you have a microplane in your kitchen. Okay, so to my chicken here, and it's getting flipped around here, I'm going to let this brown a little bit more, 
because I'm going to add our veggies in here. But I want, I like my chicken to have a little bit of brown on the outside. Whoa! There we go. Flip these over. Let those cook just a little bit more. Yum! And then when I'm going to start on that, I'm going to put in some shallots. So I just chop them. And we're going to put all those in there. That was two kind of large shallots. But they're going, I'm going to put about a teaspoon to start with on the ginger in here. And the same on the garlic. Put some garlic in there. And get those started going with the chicken. nice. They have the onion flavor, but it's real mild. It's, mi it's milder than using a regular onion, but you could use one if that's what you had, because of course we use what we have. So that's how that goes with, with the shallot. Um, I'm going to put the zucchini in, throw our zucchini in. And I just made little discs, mostly just for aesthetics. You can chop them any shape you want, but I thought little discs would be in this recipe. So we've got our disc going on there. And should I get everything in there? It's all beginning to soften. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. I'm going to put our broccoli in there. And just, I think, for ease of our pan, I got my pan all filled up there now. <laughs> this is a quick Dinner, you could prep this in the morning um, so that when you get home at night, you're ready to go. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Welcome. We're making chicken curry with veggies, with zucchini and broccoli. And I'm also going to make some spicy green beans. So right now I've got the chicken in here going with the shallots and the broccoli. minute there. Um, and then I will start our green beans here. How's everyone today? Checking in. We are going to start our green beans. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil in our, and I broke out the wok just for fun. <laughs> Give that mixture it's on there. Get a little oil going in there. Just a splash. And I'm going to start with a little ginger in that too. Um, make sure I get everything in here. Uh, throw the ginger in and let it start to saute for our green beans. green beans that I just re-trimmed the ends on and throw that in there. My walk skills. Take a couple of minutes. So I um, 
I'm just using these vermicelli taste of Thai noodles. We used them the other day in our turkey wrap, so I'm using the other half of the package. And those are only going to take a couple of minutes, uh, literally, so I don't forget about them. I'm just going to turn the timer on real quick because I get talking to you guys and get sidetracked. Yes, Rhonda, we have plenty of dinner this evening. Green beans and we are making takeout. We are making takeout that comes in. Ah! My green beans are getting away from my walk skills. Oh my gosh. How pretty this is. Hold on, let me see if I can pick this baby up. Hold on. Because it looks so pretty. Hold on. Okay. Look how pretty this is. With our green broccoli and our green zucchini and the and the chicken. This looks delicious. Yeah! That's very heavy. <laughs> okay, let me stir up my noodles here. Because they are going to be ready in a second. But they're going to be delicious. Okay, so into my green beans. I'm going to put our sauce that we made here. And this is the soy and the hoisin and the peanut bu uh, butter. Let's see what's, go what's going on here. Get that mixed in. Oh my gosh. Yum! Yummy. Smells so good. <laughs> Smell in here. I think that needs a little bit of liquid. So you know I think I'm going to use is a little bit of my boiling water here. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I'm going to loosen up my sauce a little bit. Okay, our green beans are almost done. So, I'm going to add here to our chicken a little bit of curry paste, a little bit more. What happened to my curry? Here it is. So I'm going to take a little bit. My spoon wouldn't fit in the jar. No, jar designers. I don't know why you design jars. You can't stick a spoon, a spoon in, but they do. I'm going to put a little bit more curry into our chicken there, into our, and then okay. I'm going to use a little bit. Your two minutes is up on your noodles. Oh, two minutes is up. Okay. I take my noodles in, and I'm just going to pick them up. There we go. I just put them in the in the little strainer there because I can do it quickly with you guys watching. Okay, back to my thing here. Okay, um, now I'm going to add the coconut milk. So I'm adding a can of coconut milk because yum. What isn't good with coconut? So in goes a can of coconut milk. Oh my gosh, is this going to be delicious? So is that. Yum. Turn that down a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's my timer. Okay. We got it. We didn't forget the noodles. Okay. Make sure I got everything in here. So we've got the, uh, oh, a little bit of fish sauce. I didn't have fish sauce, so I'm just going to use a little bit of Worcestershire. Shire. So a couple splashes of that to sub for my Worcestershire. And then we are going to put a little bit of honey in here, a little bit of sweetness. And put that in there. Yum! And to make sure I got everything in there. A little bit of water. And then that's it. So let me get a little more wa water. I think I'm going to use my cooking water here. Because it's already hot. Ooh, it is very hot. Hold on. I'm going to put a little bit of water in that. Because we want lots of sauce with our noodles. Turn that off. I got that one. Going full steam there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This peanut butter in this one, yummy. Oh my gosh, look how yummy that one looks. Our green beans, yum. So good. Okay, so we've got everything in all these. I need to put a little bit of, uh, gonna put a little bit of fresh lime. I knew I zested a lime. It goes in one of these. I know. So this is the zest of one lime and the juice going into our curry here. Oh my gosh. Smells good in here. Yummy. Okay. Oh my gosh. This smells delicious. Very delicious. And I love that the broccoli 
broccoli and the zucchini, they both are bright, bright green. They look delicious. So I'm going to let that go for just a second, let the sauce all mix together, and then I will plate it up so you guys can see. Um, and I have a giveaway today, which I will do while that's fi finishing up. And today my giveaway is something really cool. My Pampered Chef stuff finally came. I had a virtual Pampered Chef party online, like, I don't know how many months ago, three or four months ago, and they came. So I have this really cool Pampered Chef um, plastic uh, 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 spatula that you can use on nonstick pans because it's plastic. Um, and it's a really cool size. It's this, li it's this little size I use all the time. I have the other one too that has the black handle. But I have a couple new ones here for our giveaway today is the Pamper Chef. So if you have commented or liked on these videos, you are in the fish. So let's see who my winners are today for our little spatulas, because you know you can never have too many cooking tools. And that would be Catherine Falgos from Houston. Congratulations, you're my winner, winner today. One of my sister's friends in the pool. We love when you tell your friends to watch us because they can win too. And then Robin Deruta, you're the winner today. So my two winners there of our Pampered Chef spatula. Awesome, congratulations. And we have a very special birthday shout out today. My birthday shout out hat is not here. Um, but we have a very special, my dear, dear friend, Monica McGrath, she is her birthday today, and we wish you all the wonderful, special things of today. I hope you're having a great, wonderful day, and if you guys don't know who she is, she is our um, assistant sheriff here in Ventura County, and she's amazing. So happy birthday to her. They call the undersheriff. Oh, the undersheriff, excuse me, I'll get her title right, but she's awesome. So we love her, and she's doing a great job in this hard times, and we just um, pray covering over her every day, and especially on her birthday. So happy birthday, dear Mo uh, Monica. And then I have a couple more birthday shout-outs here today. Deborah Medina, it's your birthday. I wish I had my hat, but I don't. Um, and then tomorrow, Terry, your birthday's tomorrow. What are you and Laura up to celebrating the big one tomorrow? I'm sure you guys have something fun on the docket, because you always do. So happy birthday to you. And oh my gosh, this looks so good. Yummy. Okay. So that was quick, right? Quicker than wait than waiting for takeout. And we're ready to serve this beautiful thing. So let me get some noodles. So I've got our rice noodles here. I'm gonna put now you can serve this with rice if you want, or cauliflower rice, or whatever is your favorite. And I will serve up. This looks so good. Yummy. Make sure I get some of all the things here. Our broccoli and our zucchini. The yummy sauce. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Kind of making, trying to make it pretty for you guys. So we'll see. Put a little sauce on there. Oh my gosh. Yum. And then a few green beans. So yummy. We have our spicy green beans and then our green chicken curry with broccoli and zucchini. And takeout's got nothing on me, baby. So yummy. How about that? Delish, huh? Yeah. No. Looks great. So thank you guys for watching. You can find us here um, on Facebook. It's also on Instagram. And then our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. Um, you can follow us there. We're almost to a thousand and I will post the recipes here down below on Facebook um, and on YouTube so you can visit us there thank you for watching if you have any real estate needs Ventura County we'd love to talk to you it's a crazy market out there it is busy 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 visit us at GaryandLisa.com and we look forward to talking to you about real estate any questions anything you want to talk about we love to talk about real estate so we shot a new listing yesterday that is going to be so adorable so can't wait for you guys to see that too so thank you for watching we love having you guys here we're here wednesdays and saturdays live at three o'clock and we appreciate you watching there's only two things you can control your effort and your attitude so always pick a good one and always do your best and make it a great one we will talk to you soon